Hello, this is Sheila McGee-Smith, back for episode two of our mini-webinar series, Transforming Customer Experience, Three Starting Points. Today's starting point is moving from IVRs to true digital automation. So, the old way, IVR. I remember when IVRs first came into the business, and it was fantastic. You know, perhaps five, six, seven percent of all interactions uh, coming into a contact center or a call center at the time could be automated. It was terrific. But over time, the IVR is beginning to show its age. Uh, typically, it's because of a lack of IVR maintenance, right? People don't go back and look at the trees or they just add things without sort of redesigning the entire experience. And so menus are inflexible and information is poorly organized. Um, there's no personalization. And increasingly, with this digital world, consumers expect that. Um, there's low self-service completion in a world where automation is more possible. And there's no transfer of context of what a customer may have done in the IVR to an agent if one does have to get involved in an interaction. So what's the new way? Well, the new way is digital automation. So I had the opportunity to talk to Teresa Murphy, who is the Divisional Assistant Vice President at Great American Insurance Group, about why and how she modernized her IVR. And she was working with her business partner, Demovo, who, when they looked at what Teresa wanted to do, brought in VT Team, who is sponsoring this series of videos. So, why did she decide to modernize now? So they had a new cloud CRM system, and what they saw was they were getting some great data on why customers were calling. And as they reviewed and analyzed that data, they saw an opportunity to deploy self-service for some very simple interactions that were coming in. Consumers who needed a form, customers who are just checking a balance, uh, needed the rules for certain types of withdrawals. So they saw an opportunity to handle more interactions in the IVR. So before they went ahead and did this reimagining of their IVR, they had an IVR where the self-service options as opposed to just routing calls to certain departments, the self-service options were hidden several menu trees down. Only about 5% of their, cons their customers were making it to the self-service options, and even a smaller percentage were completing interactions there. And when somebody did have to get transferred to an agent, no context from the IVR activity was sent to the representative. So what's happening now? Every customer is greeted by a conversational interface. About 15% of interactions are now being completed in self-service. Teresa tells me 62,000 automated interactions in just the first 10 months of 2021. And when a consumer does need to go from self-service to a representative, information is transferred, they know why the customer is calling, and they know their authentication status. So the customer doesn't have to re-authenticate. In addition, it's not just about data dips, it's about workflow. So what do I mean? Typically an IVR will be able to do something like dip into a database to find a specific um, balance or a piece of information. And you know, 20 years ago, that was the state of the art. That was good. Today, Great American's new system can take input from customers, like the kind of form they need, their address that they want that form sent to, and complete the interaction, right? They can send emails, send a piece of snail mail, based on the interaction with the digital automation 
and the request that the consumer is making. So it's a workflow. It's not just a data dip. And why is that possible? Because of all of the advances in natural language processing that has really moved from just processing, as it was in the 60s, you know, pattern matching, very small rule sets, to really true understanding that the system can understand what a consumer is saying, what anyone is saying. And that began to become available in the 2000s, but it was really expensive because there was a lot of processing power required in order to get to understanding of what people were saying. The change in the 2020s is cloud-based solutions powered by artificial intelligence are much more accessible to a much, much broader set of companies. There's a study that I referred to in the first of these uh, mini webinars from NTT uh, that does a benchmarking survey. And as they looked at the changes that have happened as a result of 2020 and the pandemic, they saw opportunities and weaknesses in customer experience. And the final slide of their presentation is some of the lessons that can be learned from the top customer experience performers. And we can all name a few, right? Companies that get it right. But if you look at that center column, ramp up hyper automation. And here they're defining hyper automation as bringing together artificial intelligence, machine learning, virtual agents, robotic process automation, sort of like the workflow that we just talked about, as a way to really get the true value proposition of automation in customer experience. So the, the age of virtual agents is upon us. And beyond just an automation, it's connecting what can be automated and making sure that it can be connected to live agents when necessary, and that agents get a benefit from that when some of the things they need to do can be automatically done using workflows. So look for our other videos in this series. Uh, episode one, if you missed that one, was wait, I need a new contact center? And then episode three, coming next, sentiment analysis, driving innovation. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.